you know, this is a great opportunity for me, for me to think of services and products that I can build for the export market. You know, it's clearly, it's a fantastic opportunity. Never again will you probably get an opportunity like this, where the cost will be really low, and I can produce products, compete with the best outside for export purposes. I'll just give you one example there. Textile industry is expected to, textile industry is made up of a large number of small and medium establishments. They expect to increase their exports by 50% this year because of the rupee depreciation plus some other steps. So to that extent, from an entrepreneurship perspective, this is a fantastic thing. I just wanted to add two points about uh, the sectors where there is a lot of entrepreneurial activity, again, supported, uh, mentored by Thai. Area is education. Education is highly technology driven, number one. But the traditional ways of education, we are forgetting. Schools do not have sufficient experiments, sufficient gadgets to teach science and engineering in a proper way. There is a company here in Chennai that is focusing on distributing this kind of equipment at a very low price to thousands and thousands of schools. Just, just imagine the statistics in the country 1 million government and corporation schools, 1 million plus, and 350,000 private schools in the country, all of which require this kind of experiments. There is one startup that's planning to do exactly that. There's another startup that is taking, building models and projects to engineering colleges. You know, many of us joke about how the project reports in the final year are written or on many occasions it is bought. So this company is saying that we are going to change that. Physical model building will be part of the curriculum and they have signed up a number of colleges. Again, another startup venture, part of the Thai initiative and they are talking to investors promoted by Thai Chennai in order to get funding. Uh, this with the government to opening up the data through the data.gov.in, do you find startups uh, you know, lacking up the opportunity of working with the government with the huge data set available in healthcare or in other sectors? Yeah, I think the opportunity to work with the government, not just because of the opening up of the data, but also the amount of transparency that they are trying to bring in into the bidding processes, I think that is encouraging now and people are stepping up to working with the government and otherwise it was a sector that typically very few people who had the connections could do. So I think all these uh, are helping to understand how to bid, how did the winning bidder get it, how do I do it differently and also the analytics part of it is slowly coming up in a good manner in healthcare particularly and the insurance schemes that are being launched by the Tamil Nadu government today is creating another set of opportunities for service providers and even the hospital sectors to provide that and take these products and services to the back, the people in the tier 4, tier 5, tier 6 cities where accessibility of healthcare is still low but such schemes were not even known they were distributed only by insurance companies so I think that is beginning to happen so I think overall I would say that uh, there is a lot of positives in the economy too and I think uh, we need to tread through the next 12-18 months in a careful manner and not get tripped or trapped if you will. I just add to that, uh, Murli, to, answer, to answer your question on uh, data, uh, Aadhaar itself is a big opportunity. There's a whole lot of things that the UIDA itself is promoting with the other data and in fact one of our time members also is working with the Tamil Nadu government, I can't name the entrepreneur or the thing or the project in a place like Vilipuram with respect, using state government data to, to deliver better outcomes on certain schemes. You mentioned about uh, the Thai chapter in places like Shivakasi. 
do you find uh, people with uh, not a very formal uh, education or engineering qualification also entering into entrepreneurship and also becoming time members absolutely absolutely i think that's a you know, entrepreneurship is uh, no language it does not require any special qualification and about 2 years back in order to it was considered to be entrepreneurship was considered to be very latest we started a tamil panel discussion during tai about a couple of years back very very popular there are entrepreneurs from inner cities who are not familiar you know in fact when we call them to come and present their story they said illa sir anga la neengala kotta la potu irupinga naanga waste ticket illa anga vandha seriya irukadhu this is exactly the words they used we started that panel and that's came from so you know that's something that tai is very keen on uh, to to break any barriers that may exist gender barrier all barriers any type of barrier.